going to have a look at the Ackerman principle and how it, uh, the Ackerman principle um, affects the front wheels on turns. Because the car is wide, it, the uh, front wheels have different radiuses when they turn. So in this diagram here, I, I put the front wheels in. This is a, a top view, and the steering arms are blue. And in the purple is the radius that the center of origin is the, is the lower ball joint. And that's the radius the wheels would swivel on. Now, we uh, are going to put a, a rack in, a rack and pinion, which is uh, tie rods on each side, and it will move, uh, move the steering arms to allow a left or a right turn. Now the left, far left and far right of the rack and pinion have to follow that purple radius. So they, um, depending on where the steering arm is on the radius, will cause more of a turn on one side than the other. So we're going to turn left. That means move the, the uh, rack or the tie rods to the right. So there's a new position in red. And they, of course, it moves down exactly the same linear distance. And the linear distance may be if it's two inches on the left, it would be two inches on the right. And the left wheel has to follow its left wheel radius, and the right has to follow the right wheel radius. But if you notice, the yellow outline on the radius is smaller on the right than on the left, because the steering arms are in a different position. And you can see what would that do. If it, if it moves uh, more on the radius, it's going to turn the wheel. Now that wheel, because it's got a smaller radius on a turn, has to rotate uh, slower than the wheel on the right, because it's got a, a longer distance to travel when you're t turning a corner. And uh, will follow a, a different radius. Now, of course, this would work for turning right also, because in the straight ahead position, the uh, steering arms are a mirror image to each other. And so we uh, would have the opposite effect if we were turning uh, right. So the Tie rods move in a linear fashion, linear distance equal on both sides, but the steering arms move in a radius, which is not equal on both sides because of the relationship between the linear and the radius. Thank you very much.